Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about how to not gain weight during the holidays. If your holidays are anything like mine, it's a lot of sitting, talking, and of course eating. So we have to be intentional about each holiday season so we don't pack on those extra pounds. I know I think we're probably all guilty of it. There's always treats around or somebody cooking something or we're baking something and we're eating extra. So I'm going to go through the top tips that I have on how not to gain weight during the holiday season and even possibly lose weight. Did I just say that? yeah it's possible and still enjoy yourself it doesn't have to be all about taking away stuff it's just about moderation and having a plan so let's get into it okay so the first one is choosing your snacks wisely you may not be aware that not all food is created equally some gives you energy some takes it away some makes you want to just sit on the couch all day and some makes you hungry within an hour of eating them so make sure that you choose healthy snacks i'm talking non-processed foods whole grains and i'm going to give you a couple tips of my top snacks that i like and make sure that you carry them around with you because that's when you get in sticky situations it's when you get hungry you're in the car or you go to a friend's or relative's house and they have all these treats around and you're hungry so you're gonna eat whatever you have so feed me if you have an arsenal of healthy snacks in your bag you're good to go so i would say eggs is a great one hard-boiled eggs i like to throw those in a bag bring them with me my kids eat them too it's high in protein it will keep you full longer so you don't want to eat as much after you eat an egg and popcorn popcorn is um, a type of food that is uh, heavier in weight but it's low in calories and it's high in fiber and high fiber foods keep you full longer throw a bag of popcorn together and bring it with you as a snack and it tastes good too and there's so many different types that you can choose from find one that you like that you don't feel deprived when you're eating it boiled potatoes so at the holidays a lot of times we're having potatoes anyways that's a dish you could make boiled potatoes people think oh no there's too many carbs in it too much starch but actually in boiled potatoes there's a thing called resistant starch and it contains half the calories of regular starch and it has the same filling effects as fiber. So if you are more interested in finding out more about this and foods that fill you up, check out my video, I'll link it right here, that talks about how foods that you can eat a lot of and not gain weight. So it goes more into detail about those. Another ones are beans, peas, and lentils. And may not sound super exciting, but you can make some great dishes with that. And actually even lentils, there's some lentil chips I know it sounds kind of weird doesn't it but they're actually really good and like i tried a barbecue lentil chip that i ordered online and the flavor was exactly like my lay's potato chip flavoring so go figure the texture might be a little bit different but try it i'll, I'll link a couple down below and just check them out try them you can eat like three times as much for half a, a lot less calories so and they taste really good and then apples, of course, most fruit um, will actually have the effect of filling you up and keeping you full longer. Grapefruit's another one. Um, bananas, those are higher in um, potassium, so that's good for you as well. So bring a piece of fruit with you. It'll fill you up longer and you can still snack on a little bit of stuff here and there, but you won't want to eat as much. Then our, the second tip I have is being aware of the nutritional value in the foods that you eat or that you're going to eat and something that changed the game for me was a food app excuse me an app that you can track or that tells you how much calories how much protein how much sugar how much sodium is in that food then i can be more aware because if you're not aware it's so easy to just feel like okay, i'm gonna grab a big mac i don't know how bad it is i'm sure it's not great but if you're more aware it helps you make better decisions so i have um, a food app that i use and i will i think it's called my fitness pal and i'll mention it in the description below if you're interested in that it's a free app i think you can do an upgraded app but i just use the free version and it's awesome third thing is during the holidays a lot of us we get stressed we have a lot of things on our plate so we have a lot of stress that increases in our life and stress has been shown to um, have the effects of ma help making us eat more during the day. So if you're not managing your stress, it's easy to just start stress eating, stress eating. 
So a couple of way, great ways to manage your stress is exercise. And if you guys are looking for some great workout videos, some toning videos, you wanna get toned during the holidays and start your new year ahead of everybody else, check out a couple of my workout videos. Um, I'll link a couple down below, but you might as well get in shape, feel better about yourself during the holidays and not feel like blah when you eat all those processed foods and you never get up and move around. So exercising, um, yoga is another good one, meditation. If you need any of those, you can also check out, they have a ton of YouTube videos on pretty much everything. And even deep breathing, like hum, hum. You wonder why those monks are so centered? They take the time to take the breathing. I swear I do it. I have young kids. If any of you have young kids, you know what it's like. You gotta take a breath now and then or you, you might lose it. So yeah. All right, that brings us to our next one is number four, bring a delicious, healthy snack with you. So not everything healthy doesn't gotta taste good. There are so many healthy, good recipes out there that you won't even know that they're that healthy. And also another option is use your favorite recipes that you like, but may swap out some of the unhealthy ingredients for more healthy ingredients. And I will put that down in this description, some of the most common um, foods that you can swap out for other foods that are more healthy and you can still have your favorite dish. Aww. Number five is limit your liquid calories. So you don't wanna fill up on sugary drinks and alcohol. Alcohol is one of the worst because it makes you want to consume more food. So not only are you getting the calories and sugar from the alcohol, but you're also eating more over here. So just make sure you limit it. You don't gotta cut it out. Don't make your life not fun. I am a big believer in moderation. I don't cut out anything 100% of my life, but just having moderation and being aware that that's going to happen. So maybe, um, you know, on one of your days where you're, going to consume less calories before you go to a party then it's okay if you consume a few more while you're there then using a smaller plate so when we have these huge gigantic plates in our minds we feel like we got to fill up the entire plate you don't need to let's get a smaller plate and then you can fill that plate up and you'll probably get full before you even finish Seven, avoid processed foods i kind of mentioned this at the beginning processed foods have a tendency to make you get hungry a lot faster let me show you a picture real quick right here it shows you all the way across what foods help fill you up more um, starting at the worst including processed foods and oils all the way to our fruits and vegetables so again being cognizant making better choices then number eight to get up and move more instead of just sitting and talking why don't you get up and go for a walk go for a hike um, go get a frisbee you just gotta be moving a little bit more so we can burn those extra calories off. That will help ensure we don't pack those pounds off during the holidays. And you can even implement this one into your daily routine. So parking further away from the grocery store entrance or the gym entrance. I always find that funny when people are trying to get the front spot at the gym, but the very reason we're going there is to work out. So let's park far away. Then, you know, we have peace. We don't have to fight over a spot and we get to move on into the gym and we already started our cardio workout or even shopping too. Then you can stay away. You know, you're already going to have a bunch of people in there shopping with you. Why not park further away, make your life a little pe more peaceful and burn some calories at the same time. Use the stairs instead of the elevator. Simple modifications in your cho daily choices can help make a significant difference if you do these every day and compile them over time. They start having a big effect on your body and health. Have an accountability partner if there's someone else that either um, can help keep you straight, keep you on the right line, if, you know, a spouse, a friend, a kid, especially if you're going to the parties together, they can help be like, mm -hmm. I see you, I got you and they can help you stay accountable and on the right track. Another big one, don't keep treats around the house. I know during the holidays, a lot of times we get a bunch of treats, donate them, give them away, um, you know, that kind of thing. Just don't keep them around. It's so easy to, if they're sitting on the counter to just go grab that instead of a piece of fruit. So that's why I always try to move them out. I always maybe keep a couple things, your favorite, so you have it and you know, and you know, you know, not depriving yourself, but don't keep a bunch of stuff around. It's just too easy. The temptation is just too big. And then the last one is decide that you aren't gonna put it off any longer. 
we always hear so many people in the holiday season that are like oh I'm just gonna I'll start at the first of the year and then the first comes around and they do it for a week and it's not there this is about a lifestyle change um, making better choices in your not life not depriving yourself but just being a healthier overall you and you have to make the decision that you're going to start somewhere and why not today so you can start being a healthier happier clearer self and better for the holiday season and years to come so with that being said if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this or great workouts and fitness tips don't forget to subscribe below so you don't miss any videos i'll see you guys at the next one